Hello everyone, in the continuation of the series of videos related to using Terra World to create a high detail environment in a military simulator, in this section, we will go to the Biomes tab. As you saw in the previous three videos, we first selected the desired location and after creating the base terrain, we started to make the necessary changes to achieve the desired result. Now, in this section, by adding environmental features such as lakes or rivers and also determining the type of vegetation to the highest level, we will apply more visual effects on the environment. To get started, go to the Biomes tab and select Water Generator in the Add Mesh dropdown. As you can see in the settings section, you will easily be able to select or change the variables needed to create this layer. To begin with, I attribute a water material to the material slot and leave the rest as default for now. Clicking the Generate button will automatically add and generate water areas in your world from the land cover data. To access the list of built up water objects, go to the Hierarchy section and see the list of available items under Terra World Game Object under Water Generator Object. As you can see, only one item was found in this area and it has been added to our map. I can access the created layer by clicking on the name of this lake. Terra World allows you to easily edit the created water mesh if needed by clicking on it and edit its vertices by pressing the Edit Object button. As you can see, all the vertices will be represented as red spheres which can be moved around in different directions. Note. After applying the changes and exiting the editing mode, make sure to save your project to save the changes, because otherwise by clicking on the generate button, your changes will be lost and generated meshes will become as their default state. For more options on created water surfaces and their rendering, Go to the VFX tab and find Water section to set up options. Note that by activating the planar reflection, performance will be greatly affected since it's a heavy operation which adds another camera to render the scene twice for the reflections, so use it if necessary and you have room for performance. Now let me introduce one of the unique features of Terra World. Let's add a mesh generator node into the graph. This module will give a lot of visual effects to your base terrain by creating extra layers on top of it and make it more varied and detailed. The most important part of this feature is choosing the right material. For example, I am going to use a gravel material that I have already created in my project around the lake that was built. Let's create a material and change the shader from Unity Standard to the Terra Unity Standard Tessellation.
assign the albedo and normal map to the material and leave the rest as default. Return to the Biomes tab and assign the created material to the Mesh Generator node. By lowering the resolution parameter, we can gain more performance. Again, we leave the rest to default. Now it is time to check the output of the desired location. To do this, go to the Add Mask drop-down and select Biome Type Filter. In this module, you will be able to select and access the list of natural features in nature. The goal is to select Lake Type and select Borders Only option so that it only produces a mask on the edges of the lake. You can also set the size of the edges which I change it to a distance of 10 meters for testing. Now we return to the Mesh Generator node settings and in the input section, we add the recently created Biome Type Filter node. Let's test the result. To access created Mesh Generator layers, go to the Hierarchy section and under Terra World Object you will see the list of created objects with procedurally generated meshes. As you will notice, there are generated meshes created around the lake borders separated in chunks as the copy of terrain surfaces in certain areas. You can select each chunk in the scene and change material parameters from the inspector if desired. Let's fine-tune other options in the Mesh Generator node and see the output again.
As you notice, we need to make the edges to be wider and for this we need to increase the edge size parameter in settings. Now the created surface surrounding this layer has increased significantly. By selecting the desired material, we will apply more changes to it. Please note that all these changes are optional but as we play with them we may get better results in rendering the surface. Also note that since we use a GPU tessellated type of material, the extruded surfaces will not contribute to the physics engine and collision detection will not be handled on tessellated areas, so use this material to reflect micro details with no physics on them like, pebbles. To better understand the output mask for the generated meshes, let's increase the scale parameter. This option is responsible for controlling the dimensions of the created mask, thus, value of 1 means default scale from the land cover data, smaller value will shrink the mask to its center and larger value will spread the mask borders from the edges. In this case, I need the surface to be located at the shortest distance from the edges of the lake, so with a slight change of this parameter, I will achieve my desired result. Now for the last part, I'm going to give our surface a little offset in Y axis so that the created layer blends with the terrain and creates a more natural visual effect. Finally the combination of these extra layers with terrain's own layers and textures plus the addition of vegetation models on top of them which we'll discuss in the next videos, we end up with a natural and attractive landscape. It is also possible to select certain chunks and remove them if needed as I'm showing here. Note that the changes you make in the hierarchy have no connections with the loaded graph in Terra World, so save your project to finalize changes and remember that if you create the world again all layers will be reset to their original state. Also if you change any parameters in the graph and nodes, make sure to go the area tab and click on save graph button to save the latest changes to your graph. I hope this video was useful, stay tuned for our upcoming videos.